Hi students, in the morning session, we discussed converse, conversation skills 1B. In conversation skills 1B, asking for or giving information and permissions. In the morning session, we learned asking for things or objects, time and place. That means we came to know what WH forms are used for asking about things or objects, for asking about time, and for asking about place. But now, in this class, we are going to discuss which WH forms are used for persons, reasons, and suggestions. Once again, now we will come to know which WH questions are used asking for persons, when asking for reasons, when asking for suggestions. Okay, so when we want to ask for persons, the WH forms that we use are who, whom, whose. Once again, when we want to ask for persons, for people, we use the WH form who. Who, whose. So these three WH forms we use when we want to ask for persons. Now, the important thing that we have to note here is that we should know when to use who, when to use whom, when to use whose? So, with these WH forms, we can express a formal expression and we can also express an informal expression. When do we speak formally? You already know about that. We speak formally with officials and strangers. We speak informally with friendly people, with family members and with the people who are well acquainted with us. So, now when to use who? Suppose when we want to inquire about somebody, we can say like this. Who is the manager here? Who is the manager here? So we can say informally in this way. Who is the manager here? The same thing, if you want to say in formal way, we can say would you mind telling me who the manager is here? You can say this way. Would you mind telling me who the manager is here? You can say. So that is formal way. And when do we use 
who yeah suppose let us say maybe everybody likes somebody maybe it is from your friends maybe it is from your teachers or lecturers or your administrators maybe your family members etc now let us say maybe among your friends okay maybe you like somebody so your friend wants to know about that so he can ask you in this way by using the wh form or question word whom you can say this way informally whom do you like in your class or whom do you like in the college so he can ask you in this way whom do you like in the college or whom do you like in the class so whom is used here so when you want to ask in that way you can informally say whom do you like in the college the same sentence the same informal expression if you want to say it formally or in a business way then you can say may i know whom do you like in the college or you can say can i know whom do you like in the college could you please tell me whom do you like in the college will you please tell me whom do you like in the college in this way you can use formal expressions and the third wh form for asking persons is whose so this is very familiar with the thing that when you forget something in the class suppose some of your friend forgot his belongings so then you can say in this way whose bag is this whose pen is this whose pencil is this whose bat is this whose place whose place is this whose room is this in this way you can ask so in this way you can ask with whose with wh form whose this is informal expression informally you can say whose pen is this but the same sentence you can also say in a formal way can you please let me know whose pen is this can you please let me know whose pen is this in this way you can say for example i want to quote an example suppose one of your friend lost his purse while entering the college compound so you can to know that your friend lost his purse and he told you i lost my purse then later you came to know that some purse was some purse some purses were put on the receptionist's table and you came to know about it and you want to tell the same thing to your friend you want to convey the same thing to your friend then when you convey this thing to your friend when you ask your friend to go to the receptionist and get his purse then how can he go and ask about his purse he can say this way to the receptionist can you please let me know whose purse is this so in this way can you please let me know 
whose purse is this because i lost my purse ma'am so in this way he can ask so then immediately she can or he can okay give him access to find out his purse then he can get his purse and come back so that means with everyone you can cannot talk in the same way that's why formally and informally also you can talk now let us think about reasons suppose you want to ask for reasons then you use the word why so when you ask about different various reasons are there and we come across various reasons and most often we would like to put the question why so now formally or formally and informally also we can ask about the reason so first informally we can ask about the reason why did you do that maybe that is not required to do that is not a good act that is not a pleasing act that is not satisfactory people doesn't like okay your teachers lecturers or the public doesn't like then at, at such kind of situations you can ask your friend or anybody why did you do that or maybe your father and mother can ask you why did you do that so this is an informal question but the same thing you can also ask formally would you please let me know why you did it or you can say i wonder why you did it so in this way we can ask informal way and formal way about suggestions now we are talking about suggestions suppose okay you want to suggest it. so you need to suggest to somebody somebody has to suggest his friend or his relative so he can say this way or he will use this wh form that is why don't what is that why don't why don't you post the letter why don't you go to the college today why don't you get up early in the morning why don't you go for walking why don't you play cricket why don't you study in this way we use why don't we use why don't okay for formal expression and informal expression the informal expression is in this way that is why don't you post the letter so the same expression can be said in this way formally or business way that is can you please post this letter can you please post the letter you can say or i wish you had posted this letter <coughs> i wish you had posted this letter in this way you can use why don't formally and informally okay now we have discussed all these things how to express informally and formally <clears throat> by using wh form for persons how we can express informally and formally by using wh form for reasons or reasoning and we have discussed how we can use wh form informally and formally for suggestions or giving suggestion
Now we have one activity here that is activity 2. So let us do this activity. Now here you observe this activity very carefully and fill in the blanks. For every sentence a blank is given underneath it. So you have to fill the blank underneath every sentence. Okay, that means suppose here let us see example. I want to meet the principal. I want to meet the principal. So I want to meet the principal is an informal expression or friendly expression. So if uh, here the sentence is informal expression, you have to write formal expression. If the sentence is okay, formal expression, you have to write the informal expression. You have to write in this way this activity. The first example was given to you. I want to meet the principal. This is informal expression. Now you can write the formal expression in this way. Can I ask you where I can meet the principal? Can I ask you where I can meet the principal? So in this way, you can complete this activity and you write down in your notebook and you have to show me when you, okay, come back to the college. Thank you. We'll see you in the next session. Okay students, we've just uh, completed knowing WH questions for things or objects, time, place and next persons, reasons, suggestions. Now, we are going to learn what WH question words or WH forms are used for number, quantity, quality, age and distance. Now, we are going to learn what WH forms we use for number, quantity, quality, age and distance. So when we want to ask for number, for number we use how many, for number we use how many, WH form that is how many, okay. This we can say a phrase, WH phrase. First comes word, how, then afterwards, many. How many? So, the phrase we use, how many, to ask about number. How many? So, with this how many question word, we can tell informal sentence how many students are in the class so i can ask how many students are in the class this is an informal question informal asking informal inquiry so i can say how many students are there in the class or I can say how many students are in the class I can say. Now the same thing if I have to say formally I can say can I know how many students are in the class or can I know how many students are there in the class or may I know how many students are there in the class or 
Could you please tell me how many students are there in the class? Or would you please tell me how many students are there in the class? Will you please tell me how many students are there in the class? In this way, in different ways, in various ways, we can tell the informal question in a formal way. According to, okay, the politeness that we use, the degree of politeness that we use to ask a formal inquiry, to make a formal inquiry, we can use these many sentences or these many types, whichever we like or whichever we want to use, we can very well use them. There is no obstacle for that. You can use any one of the polite question for asking polite questions or for making inquiries, inquiries in a polite way. And the next, about the quantity. What WH form you use about the quantity? You want to know about the quantity. That means, quantity means it refers to substance. You want to know how much substance is there in your storeroom. You want to know how much rice is there. You want to know how much sugar is there. You want to know how much sand is there. You want to know how much cement is there. So, you want to know about the quantity. So, when you want to know about the quantity, you use the WH, WH question phrase, how much? How much? So, use, you use the WH question phrase, how much? So, this is used for asking about the quantity. You want to know about the quantity of mangoes, how many mangoes were remaining. You want to know maybe how many apples were remaining. You want to know how many books were remaining. Then you can ask by using how much the question form or the question word. For example, for making informal expression you can say how much does this bag cost you can say how much does this bag cost or you can say how much does this bag contain so here in one instance we want to know the value of the bag okay that means money in quantity and in other in another instant, instance we want to know how many mangoes are there in the bag so this way we can ask how much this bag cost or you can say how much this bag cost so this you can also say in a formal way will you please tell me how much does this bag cost so in a polite manner in a polite way you can also say will you please tell me how much does this bag cost so this way you can inquire about the quantity by using this wh form how much? Now, let us go to the quality. So, when we come to discuss about the quality, we have to know which WH form we are going to use for this, which is appropriate for this. So, when we talk about the quality, we use the WH form or the WH question word have have so we use the wh question word wh question form have so this is a wh form used for asking about quality so for example with this we can say a informal an informal expression like 
how does this cake taste how does this cake taste how does this chop is right so in this way we can make an informal inquiry or question or we can ask informally so the same thing we can ask formally will you please tell me how this cake taste will you please tell me how this cake tastes so in this way you can say will you please tell me how this cake tastes so in this way you can make an informal expression sorry formal expression so informal expression you made how this cake tastes or how does this cake taste and formally you say will you please tell me how this cake tastes or will you please tell me how does this cake taste so in this way you can speak informally and formally now let us uh, know what we use for asking about the age or inquiring about somebody's age so to ask about somebody's age we use the question word wh form or wh phrase how old how old so how old we use for asking or for inquiring somebody's age how old for example informal expression how old are you how old are you so we say an informal expression how old are you so the same thing we can make in a formal way can i know how old are you can i know how old are you so in this way we can make formal expression and informal expression and now the last one we are going to discuss is about distance when we want to find about the distance okay what wh form we must use so for asking about distance for inquiring about distance we use the wh phrase or wh form how long how long so with this how long we can form a sentence a question sentence a question and ask about the distance so informally we can say how long is your college from your home how long is your college from your home so somebody wants to know about the distance so the distance from your home to college they want to know then how will they ask you or how will you ask somebody in this way how long is your college from your home so this is an informal way of asking the same thing we can also say it in a formal way can i know the distance to your college from your home can i know the distance from your college to your home can i know the distance 
from your college to your home. So in this way, we can also make a formal expression. We can make an informal expression. We can make a formal expression. That means it depends with whom we are talking. So if we know with whom we are talking, then we will very well use whatever the appropriate sentence is needed. If formal speaking is needed, we will speak formally. If informal speaking is needed, then we speak informally. So this is all about WH forms and we have discussed many things on this topic. So now we have a small activity here that is activity 3. So in this activity now let us see frame WH questions according to the context. What is this activity says? In this activity frame WH questions according to the context. Now this activity is given to us and in this activity we have to frame questions and we can understand how far we have improved in this topic by preparing questions. The first one is, the first one has been done for you. See here the example, very tasty, very tasty. So here you see very tasty word is there. They have given you very tasty word. So with this very tasty word, you should form a question, send question. Or you should form a sentence asking question and inquiry. So see the answer is here. How does it taste? How does it taste? So very tasty. So according to this you can make a question. How does it taste? The answer will be what? It is very tasty. So you ask somebody how does it taste? Maybe, okay, you say, it is very tasty. <clears throat> so for that kind of answer, how could be the question? You have to imagine your mind and you have to write the <coughs> answers. What is the answer? Making a question. Forming a question is the answer. Now see here, 20 kilometers from college. So here you have to write informal question to this 20 kilometers from college you have to write informal question here now second one five vacancies in office for this you have to write formal inquiry you have to make a formal inquiry by using five vacancies in the office or in office you have to use a formal inquiry third one 22 years so you have to make informal inquiry or informal question. Fourth one, 55 kgs. Now, you have to make a question to a stranger. You have to think and do it here. Stranger. You have to make a question to a stranger. To a stranger means what? You speak formally or informally with him. You have to think in your mind and frame the question. And the fifth one is seriousness in coaching. Seriousness in coaching. For this, to an executive. To an executive means he is an official. Maybe you are talking with some official, some official person has come to you and is inquiring about the coaching center. Seriousness in coaching. He wants he want to learn something seriously and he was asking you seriously to teach him something. Maybe you are running a coaching center. And somebody, an executive, an officer came because he want to go forward in his further studies to okay, get promotions. So he came to you. So how would you talk with him? How would you tell or how would you make a question to him to answer him? So that you have to think very properly and write it here to an executive okay 
Now, after this activity, we have another activity. We will do that activity. Now, that activity also I am going to give you now. So, that activity you have to write down. Okay, students, this is activity 4. Now, let us see what activity 4 says. Write suitable questions to the following statements. Once again, write suitable questions to the following statements. So, we have to write here suitable questions. We have some statements here in the activity 4 and for those statements, we have to write questions. That means, here already answers were given. Me. So, for the answers, we have to write the question. That's why see here, first there is a blank and next there is a statement. The statement is as an answer. So now you read the statements that are underneath the blanks, under the blanks and accordingly you write a suitable question on top of it, on top of the blank you write a suitable question. For example, let us see about the first question. The first question says, How do you train here? How do you train here? So, that is a question here. Now, the answer, We offer a very high quality coaching. We offer a very high quality coaching. So, to this, we offer a very high quality coaching. Suppose, this answer is given, this question is not given to you. Now, what we have to do then? To this answer or to this statement, pertaining to the answer or to the statement, you have to think, use your IQ levels and write the question here. So, in the same way, you please try to fill the blanks. First, blank is done for you. So, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, you please carefully think and listen to the class carefully once, twice or thrice. If you don't understand, then automatically you can understand and you can do these exercises. Thank you all. We will see you in the next class. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, students, we have another exercise in conversation skills 1B. So, we are going to deal with that. Now, here we have to learn about permission. That means, one can accept our permission and one can deny permission. Suppose, when you approach for permission, the person who need to give you permission may accept you or may deny or reject you. See here, for accepting permission, we use some words or phrases. They are, see, surely, certainly, of course, by all means, right away, just now, in a moment, all these we can use in order to accept permission. We can use these words or phrases. So, if we know these words or phrases, if we are acquainted with these words, with this short vocabulary, automatically it will enable us to speak fluent and perfect English. And for denying permission, for denying permission also, we can use some phrases or words. I am sorry, I cannot, plus you can tell the reason by saying I cannot and you can put the reason, then you can Deny him in a nice way. Or you can say, 
I am afraid or I cannot and you tell the reason so by knowing these words or phrases it will help you to act promptly in your speaking okay basing on this we are also having one activity that is activity 5 now what does activity 5 says now match the following with the right expression match the following with the right expression now here we have two columns one is column a and another one is column b column a we have one two three four five and in column b we have a b c d e so we have to match one we have to match the sentences in the column A with the sentences in column B. Simply, you can put in front of one, you can put that letter. What is the appropriate letter connected with one? You can put here by seeing these sentences and those sentences. You can put the right letter in the bracket given so that you can match them in this way so you can match them for example please shut the door that means this is denial this is denial please shut the door so where you can see that where you can see that by all means I want to study now I am sorry I have some work now. Why not? You can read and return. I am sorry. I need some fresh air. Sure, I'll stop smoking. Once again, by all means, I want to study now. I am sorry. I have some work now. Why not? You can read and return. I am sorry. I need some fresh air. Sure, I'll stop smoking. Now, a, B, C, D, E. So, which belongs to this one? Please shut the door. So, you can see there. I am sorry. That is D. I am sorry. I need some fresh air. So, one belongs to D. So, because when somebody says or requests you to shut the door, then you can say, I am sorry. I need some fresh air because you need some fresh air or the other person needs some fresh air he's saying he's telling in a very pleasing manner that I am sorry I need some fresh air so in this way you can fill in the blank you can fill in these brackets with the appropriate letter and come back when you come back to the college you can produce your notes thank you bye bye